What's up everyone, Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing. I am coming to you live from the California RV show in Fontana, California to show you all the coolest, newest rigs. And this first one is pretty amazing. It is an overlanding vehicle that you're not gonna wanna miss, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. And a huge shout out to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard. We would not be able to be bringing you all this awesome content without the help of those guys. If you haven't heard of it before, make sure you check out RV Trip Wizard because it allows you to set all of your own specific RV parameters in there and then choose your travel routes accordingly so you'll never come across a low hanging bridge. I'll drop links below in the description, in the comment section. Let's get to this Earth Cruiser. guys so if you're interested in uh, what this actually is because it doesn't look like a normal RV this is kind of like an overlanding vehicle really meant to be able to take you off the grid and explore in terrains that most vehicles even trucks couldn't get to so I'm gonna start by showing you the outside of this unit because it's got some awesome features on the outside and then we'll take you inside and show you some really cool stuff too so just on the very front here you can see how heavy duty this beast is. I mean, you got this brush guard up here, things to get you out of trouble if you need to, and uh, just beautifully constructed and heavy duty. This is not meant for RVers that want to stay in an RV park. This is a uh, boondocking beast. So you can see on the back here, they have a beautiful spare tire, some storage space, more heavy duty uh, towing equipment back here. This is just beautiful. And I was admiring the um, tanks. The tanks are constructed with uh, welded aluminum. This is just awesome quality stuff. So it's not gonna degrade over time. I mean, I'm really enjoying looking at this thing. Let's hop around to the other side and see what we're working with. So on the other side, there is a, a little storage area here where you can access a grill so you can cook outside, but there's also a kitchen inside, just depending on how you want to cook. But a lot of outside storage space, you could obviously use this for any sort of storage back here. It doesn't have to be a grill. I think we should hop inside and check it out. Come on, let's see what it's all about. Right, guys so whenever I walk in immediately on the inside to the left is this raised bed and now this whole unit really works because you can pop the top if this top was not popped up it would be pretty hard to access uh, this living space so you got to keep that in mind whenever you're uh, thinking about one of these things but the top is made of like a canvas side on the side but it is a hard top right up here so the bed looks like about a queen size bed maybe just a little bit smaller and uh, beautiful window viewing areas from the bed. Can't argue with that. And you got lighting all around on each corner of the bed and up in the front. And then beside the bed is this nice storage space. What I really like about the storage space are these handles. It's kind of like a marine quality handles. They lock into place, easy to access, and a lot of small little drawers. We also have some pockets down here. And if we look at the kitchen on the opposite side, it's gonna use the same handle mechanisms for all your kitchen goods. And uh, the counter space is pretty amazing here. You can see they have a cover over the sink as a working space. Very nice uh, stove top right here to cook on. 
this is a selling point. You got all this counter space in an overland vehicle. It's, I wouldn't say it's um, on par with a luxury RV, but it's definitely gonna be a very nice camping experience where you're not roughing it. Take a look over here and you can see the whole electrical control panel, easy to access. Looks like these are fuses and also controls. You can see what the battery charge is. I was talking to the representative for um, Earth Cruiser and he said that they all come solar equipped with lithium batteries. This unit has 200 amp hour lithium batteries in it. They can fit up to three. So uh, we always love rigs with lithium power. And the last aspect of this living area is this kind of dinette over here. It's made up of two booths on either side and a super maneuverable table. I'm sure you can lock it into place if you're using it, but uh, I really like how easily this slides because it is a tight squeeze to get into these benches. Makes it very nice to access. Also, they have some really good um, electric outlets up here. So this thing is all powered off lithium and solar power. So there's obviously a nice inverter in here making these residential plugs available to you which is an awesome benefit right here where you'll be using your computer or something. So the kitchen also has a nice fridge in here, isotherm fridge. I'm guessing it is a 12 volt unit, very nice size relative to the size of this whole unit. So I like that fridge a lot. You might be wondering where the bathroom is. So, you know, that's one of the sacrifices you're gonna make in an overlanding vehicle. It obviously is not on par with it class C RV or even a class B RV when it comes to some of the bathroom amenities. Over here is the bathroom. You can see the toilet tucked underneath here, it slides. And then also you got the sink right here. Obviously the bathroom, in my opinion, is the biggest compromise in this whole unit. But if you're wanting to get off grid, I doubt it's that much of a compromise. But for any just luxury RV traveler, you might think twice before you get an overlanding vehicle. So it really feels good in this driver's cab. Uh, the window is big up front and you get a great view and you can really actually see all the way around without many obstructions. So I really like that about it. Um, as far as what it feels like up here, just sitting here, looking at the steering wheel, feeling how it feels, kind of like a van in a truck, a mixture between those two. Um, definitely feels a lot more like a just a regular driving vehicle than an RV. I wouldn't mind taking this beast out for a spin. y'all so that pretty much wraps it up but let me give you a few other tidbits before we close it out because what i found interesting is that a lot of these were made in with a diesel engine the last few years but they're going to start to make only gas models so this is the actual owner's vehicle that we looked at it's a used unit the newer ones are going to come stock with gas and i think he said there was somewhere around 350,000 starting price around that you know, you're not paying for the luxury inside as much as you're paying for the beast of the unit that can take you off-road anywhere. It is truly beautiful. I wanna know what you think about it. Would you ever consider uh, doing overlanding life as opposed to RV life? A lot of similarities, but a few differences, specifically with that bathroom that you saw. So sacrifices you gotta make everywhere. I'm glad I got to take a look at this unit though. Always fun to check out overlanding vehicles. Our friends, his and hers vlogs, just started overlanding about a year ago. I love following their travels because it is a unique twist on RV life. So 
Let me give you one more shout out. Thank you again to RV Life, RV Trip Wizard. Make sure you check those links below if you want to plan an RV trip. Get all the best destinations suited to your preferences and not come into any low hanging bridges. Check it out. It's a super valuable tool. You can even start a free trial below. So I'll drop those links there. But stay tuned. This week we'll be showing you all the coolest RVs here at the California RV Show. Later on, y'all.